Hello bros, it's Gaming Evoke over here and today I'm bringing you a brand new Clash Royale video. In today's video we will be doing the King's Cup challenge. As you can see I got the 4 win streaks in a row without any losses. But before starting the live battle I want to show you 2 replays which I fought in the King's battle which were super amazing. The first replay, replay which I want to show you is this. Both of us were having the same deck, the only difference is I got the Goblin Hut and he got the Furnace. So let's start watching it. I will first play from my Goblin Hut and I don't know which deck he has got so I will play it front of my tower just to protect from Hog Rider or Axe or any other kind of shit like that. Now I didn't get any starting good cards, I just played archers to protect my goblin hut, goblin hut from that skeleton army and he played Furness. At this point I knew both of us were, have got the same deck. And none of us have a zap spell to eradicate that skeleton army. I defended myself and then I was ready for my push. With Dark Prince, Lumberjack. And I managed to get some hit on the tower. I again protected myself from the skeleton army with archers. And then I also played skeleton army because I was knowing he didn't have a zap spell to protect him. But he wisely played furnace but still I managed to get some hit and bring his tower down to 1200 HP. I play Mega Minion to counter the Mega Minion. Now starting off with my Goblin Hut from that very position, I am ready for my push. I played Arger's Lumberjack to defend myself. And hopefully, I did not let him touch my tower even once. Then I started off with my push. Mega minion and whatever lumberjack. And hopefully we will be able to take that tower. I played Dark Prince for my defense and to counter. Played Skeleton Army because he was not having any splash damage over there. Until the end of the battle, I don't let my opponent, having same deck as me, to touch my crown tower. None of them. The next which I want to show you is the deck which both of us get the same deck non even a not even a change of a card. So let's start watching it. I did not get the expo in my first four cards. So I started off with my bowler bowler. And my opponent started off with Princess right at the back of the tower. At the starting, I will take the lead and then did not let him to destroy my tower. Throw a mini packer for instant kill. Then my defense is still there, so I decided to play it offense and planted X bow behind it. And my opponent doesn't have any XLR to counter my push. He played Princess, I played Guards to kill it. And hopefully we took the tower of our opponent at the first 
one minute. Starting off with my boulder at the back of my tower, hoping for the same push which I did. But this time he also played boulder because he got scared. I played mini packa from there just to kill the boulder. And then guards to distract mini packa from hitting my tower. Then fireball to kill that princess. Now again starting off with the baller or expo strategy. Planting expo right back of the boulder. Then princess he fireballed it. I played guards from there. Fireball to eradicate all of them and just look I don't I don't letting him to even touch my tower. And we both have the same strategies. The difference is this, just have played wisely at the start of the battle. And it's a win from our side. Now starting off with the live battles, let's get head on with it. Some Chinese or Japanese player from Gangster in and I got my favorite deck, the Go Log Go deck. But we did not get the XLR collector at the start. That's unlucky of us. Now archers means our opponent also get the same deck which we have or the Dark Lightning. He have got the Dark Lightning deck. Okay and we are at the big trouble guys. By seeing Golem. He just put all his attack to one push, one tower push. And he also had the skeleton army I guess then. Yes I was right, I was right. Come on, kill them all. And a very bad start. A very bad start. A bad start will lead us to lose this battle. I think. He again started off with his push. And this time we defended his push. With the XLR advantage I guess. 4 plus 4 plus 3 equals to 10 XLR. Let's start off with the golem. Now our tower is down and I'm thinking about that. Let's head on with our push. This time I will use poison. He just wasted it. It's Lightning, I don't know why. Jesus. I think we will take that tower easily. It's no way he could defend that now. Okay, great. I think we can pull victory at it. Just bag a hope. Uh -huh. 
Come on, please defend well. Hell yeah, we defended well. Okay. Come on, go minion hold, minion hold. Can we pull up victory in this? We are again ready with our golem. Great use of lightning. I don't know how we will able to take victory. Okay, keep going golem. What he is thinking of right now? Come on, Jesus. Give us victory. Please golem get to that tower. Yes, we got the victory. It's no way he could win now. Okay. Five wins in a row. Hell yeah. This was a great battle. Starting was very bad, but we still managed to get the victory out of it. Let's head on with the next battle. X baller deck. I hate this deck very much. Trust me, I don't like this deck. Now we're in my dreams. I always get a lose when I have this deck. And our opponent has XLR Collector. That means he is using the Golem deck or the Musketeer deck. And it's very hard for us now to pull victory out of it. What is he waiting for? Jesus. Come on. Got the expo. He has got the musketeer. That means one thing. He is using the golem deck. Now we are at the great trouble. Because in the double axillary period, that deck is just overpowered. I did a mistake. By seeing his golem, I should get away with the next side of the push. And now I have to waste my axillary. Come on, get that lock, keep going. We somehow managed to defend that. Okay, nice going, nice going. We are still winning. No problems. But not much. Let's give a fireball right there. Expo, come on, hurry. We have to take that tower in any cost. Yes, we got the Expo hit it to that tower. Hell yeah. We got the win from here. Now we just have to defend ourselves. Jesus, this is so hard. Come on, please. I think it's not possible. He took our tower. No, we are still... We still have to push something to that tower. Heading off to the wind. 
Jesus. Okay, nice defense, nice defense. Come on, keep going. Hell yeah, can we can we win this battle? We are ahead of XLR so much. We got the win! Hell yeah! First in a million years, I got six victories in a tournament, the King's Cup Challenge. Can we pull up at least seven wins? That will broke my record. Oh my god, it's so intense. The Frozen Hog deck. Starting off with the Hawk Freeze. We are losing. Oh, you well played. Now how can we pull victory? He has got the X bow deck. And it's far more stronger than this deck. Jesus. Please. Can we get the victory? No! Jesus! We have lost the tower. It's no way we could defend it now. This is a loss. I cannot win this match. Seriously. Okay, we somehow managed to take that tower and defend ourselves. Keep going. That princess is like a nuke. Come on. Freeze! Hell yeah! A nice freeze. No, no, we are losing, we are losing. Jesus. And we lost this match. Well played. Well played. So let's see how far this time can we go in the King's Cup challenge. We can pull... At least 8 wins with that emblem, shining emblem, sign of prestige. So let's open our chest. 2 card that means just a rare and a common. Okay, that's all.
Hope you guys like that video. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more.